Hi and welcome to Data Coder. In this video, I am going to discuss about SAS libraries. I will discuss what is a temporary SAS library and what is a permanent SAS library. And we will discuss how to access data from a temporary library or how to access data from a permanent uh, SAS library. So if this is your first time, then please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos on base and advanced SAS programming. Let's get started. A SAS library is simply a collection of SAS files that are stored in the same folder or directory on your computer. So for example, if we have a, a cupboard and in that cupboard if we have some cabinets and in each cabinet we have some files. So here if the cupboard is considered as a SAS system then the each cabinet will be considered as a library and each files inside the cabinets we can uh, relate to the SAS dataset inside the libraries. So in library we can uh, have some other files as well but the file which are supported by SAS or the file which have uh, the SAS file extension data recognized, uh, recognized as a part of the SAS library. So next we will see the type of libraries. Uh, in SAS we have two types of library. One is temporary library, another is permanent library. So the work of a uh, work library is a temporary library and uh, for example uh, SAS user is the permanent library. We can create and access our own permanent libraries as well. So let's go to SAS and see. So this is my SAS system and here this work is a temporary library because when we close the SAS system or we end the SAS session, whatever the data present inside this work library will be deleted. That's why it's called as a temporary library. And here the SAS user is a permanent library because whatever uh, data set or whatever content we create inside this SAS user library, when we end the session or we close the SAS system and when next time we open SAS, the same uh, data sets will be available in my SAS user library. That's why the SAS user is, is called as a permanent library. We can create and access our own permanent library as well. So for example, here in my uh, you know E drive, I have a folder called folder 1 and in this folder I have some uh, you know excel file, some txt file and some SAS data set as well. There is a one SAS data set named test1. So if I want to access this uh, test1 data set in my SAS system, then I need to uh, first establish a connection between this folder and the SAS system and I can do that by creating a library. So the syntax to create a library is lib name then I need to give a library reference name. So I need to give a reference name for this folder 1. So here I am giving a, a reference name as a uh, ref lib. This is my the reference library for folder 1. Then after that I need to give the location of this folder. So I will just copy this location and paste it over here and I can give the semicolon. So the location should be inside quotation mark. And this is a global statement, so we don't need to run the uh, run a statement. So now, if I will execute this, the uh, libname lib name, uh, ref lib refers to the same physical file as name. So now my uh, you know connection has been established. So this ref lib has reflected here in the libraries. And if I open that, so the test one, this is a SAS data set. So that's why I am able to see that in my library. There are some other files also, but those I can't see in the library. I can see the data set only. So this is how I can, uh, uh, you know, access my own library. And these libraries are called as permanent library because whatever data set I will create inside that, that means I am creating the data set in this folder 1. So when I close my SAS system or I end the session, this Library will be deleted from here, but the file will present over here. And next time when I, you know, again run this uh, libname statement, 
my connection will be established and I can see the library over here and I can access the data. So this is the permanent library. So next we will see uh, how to access data from a temporary library. So this work is a temporary library, how to access data. So here I have a data set temp data. If I want to uh, print this data set, then I can write proc print data equal to work dot temp data. I can do that. So if I will print, I will get the output. Or as this is a temporary library, I no need to give any library name. SAS will uh, by default take the uh, work library if I don't mention any library name. So if I will execute this now, I will get the same result. So for the temporary library, either I can mention the uh, work dot data set name or I can just give the data set name and SAS will by default take it from the work library. Next is how to access data from a uh, permanent library. So here my this uh, this is my permanent library. So I here is the data set name is test one. So if I want to print this proc print data equal to I need to mention the library name and the data set name. So this is my library name dot my data set name is test one. So here I am just you know in the name I am, I am just giving two names one is the library name and uh, th there is a data set name. So this is called the two way naming convention. So now if I will run this I will get this data set. So if I do not mention my data set name and run it then I will get an error the uh, you know work dot test one data set does not exist because when I do not give any library name, SAS will uh, uh, search that data set in the work library and it is not there, so it will throw an error. So whenever we uh, want to access data from a permanent library, then we need to mention the library name dot data set name. So uh, after I use this library and if I want to disconnect it, then I can write or I want to clear the lib name, then I can write lib name so here my library is now present lib name then what is the reference name clear when i execute this code the library will be clear okay next time when i open sas and i want to do some uh, you know uh, operation or i want to access some data i can again execute the lib name statement and the connection will be established and i can use that so that's about the temporary uh, library and permanent library and how to create a lib uh, library reference name by using the lib name statement and how to clear the library name that's all next is if i want to see what is the whatever the data set present inside a library then i can just do let's see here in the sas help library i have some data set so if i want to see what are the data set present then i can write a prop content proc contents data equal to I need to give the library over here library name dot underscore all underscore no description or notes of some if I will do this I will be able to see what are the data present what are the data set present inside that library so in my previous videos I have discussed in details about proc content so you can watch that video and uh, you know you will get all the details of proc uh, contents. Uh, that's all about today. Thank you for watching this video and in my upcoming videos I will be discussing more uh, concepts on base and advanced programming. So stay tuned and happy coding.